And then you had Snowflake, Snowflake Midnight, which I really like. Yeah. I was playing that in the car on the way here this morning, which wasn't commercially successful. No. No. But I thought it was a lovely album. I love it. It's probably one of my favorites. Mm. You know, it was one of those sort of crucible cauldron of all the elements of Mercury Rev that I really enjoy. You know, the song structures were really not very pop oriented. They weren't hooky. They, they didn't have these anthemic feels to them. But even when we play them live these days, it's the ones I really do look forward to in the set. I find the songs there, some of them are unpredictable. They start a certain way and there's a movement and I, I'm not yeah. a musician so I can't describe what happened sure. musically but there's a change in the feel of the song and it's kind of, it's unpredictable. Yeah, uh, that's one of the many things I'm enamored with, with that album in particular. There was a case where I just felt we had really had a near complete thought. I won't say it was com yeah. complete, but the circle was was quite closed on 